Hey everybody, we have a very special video today to celebrate the release of my new book, Pink is for Blobfish. This book is all about strange pink animals of the world, and as you can tell from the cover, the blobfish takes center stage. Recently, the blobfish was voted as the world's ugliest animal, but I wanted to set the record straight. It's not the blobfish's fault they look so unappealing. Here's why. Blobfish live way underwater, at depths of 2,000 to 4,000 feet. But here's the cool thing. The deeper you go underwater, the more pressure the water puts on you. If you went as deep in the water as a blobfish, your entire body would be crushed Ow. and you would become a big pile of human mush. Gross. Blobfish have adapted to survive these crazy deep waters, which is pretty amazing. They have super soft bones, very little muscle, and their entire bodies are basically composed of a gelatinous goo. This is what keeps them from getting crushed under those waters. The downside is, when you take the blobfish out of those waters, they decompress, get all gloopy, and look a lot like this. The adaptations that make them look like lumps of goo out of the water are the same ones that let them survive in the deep ocean. What do they look like in their home turf underwater? More like this. See? That's not so bad. If you want to learn more about blobfish and other weird animals, you can check out Pink is for Blobfish, which is out now. And if you want to give poor Mr. Blobfish some love, you can send him a valentine to DDG Books in Farmington, Maine, who's running an awesome contest to give the blobfish the love he finally deserves. Thank you booksellers, and I'll see you next time.